children of the Most High. So, the kings of Castile, the real Spain, and the kings of Leon, which is called Portugal today. So, Castile is called Spain today, and Leon is called Portugal today. The kings, queens, and saints, Hebrew history. So, remember when I started this channel, it was the kings of England, the kings of France, now it's the kings of Spain, when the Hebrews ruled. Alright, so, let's start. House of Jimenez. So we got King Ferdinand the First, the Great, from 1037 to 1065. Then King Sancho the Second, the Strong, from 1065 to 1072. Then we got King Alfonso the Sixth, called the Brave, 1072-1109. Queen Uraka the Reckless, from 1109 to 1226. I want you guys to look up these people's history. You see, when I put up the kings of England, the kings of France, that's for you to understand your ancestors and stop listening to the last people's telling you. Um, I don't want to be stuck really in the past because a better future is coming, but I'm still going to put a, as much history out as I can, teach you a bit. All right, here we go. All right, this is the first one. So this is King Ferdinand I, the Great, from 1037 to 1065. Now we got King Sancho II, the Strong, from 1065 to 1072. Hebrew kings of Europe. I told you guys real Europe. Um, King Alfonso VI... The brave of both Leon and Castile. So he was the king of Portugal and Spain, what you call today. So Leon is Portugal and Castile is what you call Spain today. When those Caucasian took your land, they changed the names. All right. Um, this is Queen Uraka. As you can see, she's like a prophetess. She actually taught King Richard III. King Rick, have you ever heard of King Richard the Lionheart? If you read, watched my Kings of England, you would hear about King Richard the Lionheart. And you could always look him up. His history is pretty great. Now we got House Ivera. So we got Alfonso VII, the Emperor, Sancho III, Alfonso VIII, Henry I. Henry I was also King of Castile and king of Lyon, and also he's in my kings of England, and he was also king of England. So do you see they were all related, different houses, different tribes? Please understand your history. Um, Berengaria the Great, that's a woman, from 1217 to 1217. She only ruled for actually eight months, so that's why it's in the same year. Ferdinand III, the saint, from 1217 to 1252. Then we got Alfonso the X, the wise, from 1252 to 1284. Now we got Sancho the Fourth, the Brit. No, oh, we have him. We pa that was the other one. So here we go. Alfonso the Seventh from 1126 to 1157. Okay. Hebrew kings who ruled Spain and Portugal. Now we got Sancho III, called the Desired, from 1157 to 1158. So this is your King Sancho III. Now we got Alfonso VIII, called the Noble. And you have to understand, all the Hebrew kings had a name, a nickname, the same, the brave, depending on what they were. And a lot of the kings were also priests and prophets. And if you look up the names of the people who I show in my slideshow, you, you would see that. And even if you go do a quick Google search and then just look who succeeded who and who were their children, you'll get so much information and then you'll have little snippet histories of them. So it's all there. And just keep continuing until you know the 1600s or when the roar happened and then you, you'll see the whitewashing of history. So it's pretty much all there.
So now we're going to go to King Henry the First from 1214 to 1217. King Henry the First. Now this is Berengala Gallia um, of Castile. She who I'd said only ruled for about eight months. There you go. Now we got Ferdinand the Third, called the Saint, from twelve seventeen to twelve fifty two. Hebrew king. Now we got Alfonso the X from 1221. If you get a good look at him, he's black with a long beard. And he was a priest. So he was a king and he was also a priest. So you'll have some kings that were priests also and some were prophets and some didn't yeah, some were prophets and some were saints and some were priests. So now we got Ferdinand III. Remember I told you they always had like copper engravings from books. So this is Ferdinand III. King of Castile and Leon. And they used to call him Don. So that's where you get where they call my Don and stuff because that means a king. That's where it came from. Alfonso X, another picture of him. So if you've seen the breastplates, and if you go on my Pinterest, you'll see which different houses, which Hebrew houses these come from. Now we got Sancho Ivy, King of Castile, comes next. Copper engraving. Ferdinand Ivy. Copper engraving. Now, we got Alfonso the Just. This is his book. Do you see the Hebrew king? And this is in line. And some more pictures of him. And I actually got an English version, but the best pictures are in the Latin. I hope you can see that pretty well. Romance of Calvary in the Spanish Golden Age. See, I told you blacks ruled Spain, Europe, and everywhere else. And it was the land of their inheritance and their children's ruled it for many thousands of years. And when the most high appointed four kinds for them, if you look up the Black Plague, um, if you look up some, he said some to the sword, some to the pestilence, some to the famine, and some to, yeah. <coughs> Pardon me, he appointed four kinds. So this is Pedro the Cruel. I kind of stop with dates now. This is Joanna Lamad. Um, this is just Order of the Castile Kings. And this is Philip the First and Joanne the Mad. She ruled for a little while. Now we got Alfonso the Seventh. Somebody is younger. This is Alfonso VII. See? King of Castile and Leon. Hebrew king of Europe. Now we got Philip the Handsome, King of Castile. That was Joan the Man's husband. Hebrew king of Spain, what you call Spain today, Castile. So. Now, these are statues in Spain, Castile today, and they are the Hebrew kings with their woolly beards and their... <laughs> so, I hope you see that they were all Hebrew. They weren't the people who you see living, occupying the land today. Yeah, just like that whole region. Now we got Ferdinand II. 
He was the king of king of Sicily, Aragon, Castile, and his wife Isabella, queen of Castile and Aragon, both. Bustling, turned and looking to the right, Ferdinand, bearded, wearing crown and armor, Isabella behind him in profile, wearing crown and oval frame, with leaves on pedestal, illustrated by Palominos. All right, so stop there. So this is Ferdinand II, and if you look up King Kings of Sicily, actually I have a slideshow. I'm gonna put that out after about the Kings of Sicily. They were also Hebrews, so you can do that on your own time. Look up some history. Just put in Google Kings of Sicily and look through the monarchs, and then you can look at the portraits and see who the people were. That's if you know some really good art sites where you could see the actual real picture. So this was King Philip II, right? A Hebrew king. This is who they kind of put up as him, right? All right. So now we got King Romero of Leon of Portugal. Sancho the first. Alfonso the fourth. Where's that fifth? Well, all I just want to say is you guys can look this stuff up. Alvera of Toro. That's like a province in in in, in Castile. Now we got Alfonso IX. And this is from the Morales Bible. So this is Sancho of Castile. Black Hebrew queen. Ferdinand I, Leon, Portugal. And that's actually um, Uraka, who taught King Richard III, the Lionheart. I mean, the second, Richard the second. So this is Eleanor when she sucks the poison out of her husband's chest and she saves his life from after battle. Isn't that love? <laughs> it's Charlemagne. The real one. And this is when they put up a Charlemagne, the fake one. 